Welcome to Statistics for Surveys, Session 3, Diagrams for a Single Variable, Segment 2, Dot Plots and Cleveland Dot Plot. A dot plot can be defined as a diagram where each score is represented by a dot. On the right over here, an example. Each dot represents one person. So this dot represents a person that drank a one drink. And as we can see, because there are two dots, there were two people who drank one drink. And if you count the dots here, that's four, so four people who drank two. This means two things. The first is that there's actually no vertical axis required. So as you can see, there's nothing here on the right, uh, on the left, indicating how many, because each dot is actually representing already a case. This does, however, also therefore mean that if you have a lot of cases, you will have a lot of dots, and that might not make the chart so clear anymore. A Cleveland dot plot is a slight variation on the original dot plot. Instead of having a dot for each and every case, only the highest dot is actually shown. A vertical scale is now required, but if you have more cases, it actually can still be used and you won't need to draw so many dots. So in this case, we can still see that this dot represents that there were two people who drank a one a number of drinks and that there were four people because this dot represents a four, which actually meant that four people drank two drinks. There's a lot more that can be said about dot plots, especially if you consider them as somewhat as a histogram a diagram we'll discuss later. Um, but for now, this should be enough. If you want to read more about them, uh, I su uh, suggest you start with an article by Wilkinson uh, called Dot Plots, which was issued in the American Statistician, which gives a nice detailed overview on how to draw dot plots, uh, especially if it's like a histogram um, when you have, for example, overlapping dots. But for this course, uh, this should be enough. Uh, we'll only discuss the basics of uh, the dot plots as we've done in these slides.